In Windows Server 2016, sometimes even after we enable Remote Desktop, for some reason we have trouble connecting to it. So I'll show you a couple different troubleshooting techniques. So we want to get into our control panel. So just right click on the Start button and go to Search and then type in Control Panel. So the first thing we want to check is we want to go to System and make sure that Remote Desktop is turned on, but also we want to check another setting. So we see that we're in the Remote tab, and we see Allow Remote Connections is turned on. So that's good. That means it's working. However, sometimes people leave this box checked that says Allow Connections only from computers running Remote Desktop with network-level authentication. So what that means is that your computer has to be a member of the domain, or it has to be using a newer version of the Remote Desktop client in order to connect to it. So if either of those are not true, then you want to make sure this box is unchecked, so that way you can still get into the server. When you're done, go ahead and apply it. And there's one other place to check, and we'll go back to the All Control Panel Items, and we'll click on Windows Firewall. And then we want to go to Advanced Settings off to the left, and then we want to click on Inbound Rules. So let's scroll down to the R's for Remote Desktop. Sometimes you have to sort by name. There we go. And we see remote desktop. All right, so the good news is this is enabled because the green check mark is there. If you do not do not see the green check mark, right click and choose enable. And that may be all it needs to fix it. However, in some cases, that's not the case. So let's go to properties and let's go to advanced. And then let's make sure the box is checked to say allow edge traversal because by default it's going to say block edge traversal. So allow edge traversal means you can get into the computer from another subnet besides the one you're in. So if you have the block in there you won't be able to get in except from the same subnet. And you may be outside of the network trying to get into it. So when you're all done just go ahead and apply that and then go ahead and try your remote desktop again. And if it's still a problem it's probably a, a problem on the firewall if you're outside the network. You'll need to make sure you check the uh, firewall port forwarding on that in order to make sure that's set up correctly.